In this video, we will look at the paint question. This question is often asked in exams and for some reason, um, it can become quite confusing and learners sometimes struggle with it. But I'm going to give you a few easy basic steps that you can use to follow. Now, firstly, there are three types of paint questions. The first type of question is how much paint? So how many liters of paint do I need? to cover a certain area? That's the first type of question. The second type of question they can ask you is um, the area. Which area will so and so many liters of paint cover? And the third type of question is the cost. What will this whole story cost me now? Okay, now in our example we're going to use the same paint tin and one liter of paint gives me 20 square meters. So that's the example we're going to use. Right. Remember just one extra thing. If this is 20 square meters, it means that how do I get an area of 20 square meters? I'll have to maybe multiply 5 and 4 or 10 and 2 and that will give me 20 square meters. So the one wall might be like 5 meters or the other one 4 meters. And yeah, obviously we're painting the walls. Just keep that in mind as well. Right. Let's look at the first type of question here. Um, it says, how many liters of paint? So right now we're looking at the first type of question. How much paint do you need? Is required to cover an area of 60 square meters. So in this case, what do you do? You will divide the areas. Is it always the case? Yes. So make a note of this. Divide both the areas. Okay. So we're going to say, if I have 60 square meters, I'm going to divide that by the 20 square meters because I want to see how many times does 20 go into 60. So I'll need an answer of, I'll get an answer of 3 liters. Let's think about it like this. There's one paint can, this one covers 20 square meters, then I have another one, it covers 20 square liters, and a, a square meters, another one, it covers 20 square meters. So at the end of the day, you have three cans and they cover 60 square meters. Right. Let's go to the second type of question. This guy, what area will five liters of paint cover? So I am now looking for the area. When you get a question like this, you take your paint, your amount of liters that they give you in the question and you multiply that by the area quite simple if you think about it because if I have one liter that covers 20 square meters then 5 will cover 5 times 20 square meters which gives me 100 square meters okay the last type of question now is the cost one so what will the cost of paint that can cover 200 square meters be so in this case I first need to determine the price for one square meter. If I know the price for one square meter, then I can multiply by the amount of square meters that I need, which is 200. Then I multiply by that area. Okay. Now think about it. They're basically saying, yeah, you have maybe two rooms or how many of the rooms and the area of 200 square meters. And you want to know how much is it going to cost to paint that. Now in our question, we're also given that this one painting costs 350 rand. Very expensive. All right, so the price for one square meters, if it's 350 rand for 20 square meters, and I divide by that 20, I'll get the price for one square meter. Now I'm going to multiply that price by the area of 200, and I'll get an answer of 3,000. 500 rand. So just a recap, always go back to the type of question that they give you and then look at what you must do for that specific question. Write down these key hints and phrases. Alright, please like, share, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.